Oh, what's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. People in the house are sleeping still, so I'm gonna be a little quiet. So, uh, so today I have a requested video during this time of quarantine and and public freakout when people have to worry about what if things get worse. Um, what if people start breaking into your homes? And then I got the question of, hey man. What if people break into my home and I live in a state that is gun restricted and I can't protect myself? I have nothing to protect my family with. They said, what can I use as a knife, like a buoy to defend my family? And I already had planned on doing a fighting knife review all around. But this guy said, but do it on budget knives. Let's take the average guy who's right now going through financial issues or whatever. Let's take this guy and say, all right, look, man. It's a battle. We got to get toilet paper and all that crap. And, and you're fighting for this and that. And maybe you, you don't have more than 50 bucks. You know what I mean? To drop on something that you could use to defend yourself with. To defend your home with. So that's what we're looking at. We're looking at any knife under 50 bucks. And I have probably 100 of them. But we're only bringing out 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That many. So... I just want to bring out a small gathering of knives that kind of fit the bill because a bunch of them are going to be doing the same thing as the others. So I didn't want to bring them all out. This will give you a, uh, this will give you the gist. All right. So let's get into some of these. Um, we have sizes and it's a lot of them. You're going to find knives that are this long and you're going to find knives that are this long. Now, both of these are from Cisco, right? And uh, you have that um, Cisco uh, high carbon um, buoy and you have the Cisco Old West buoy. Um, obviously, they've both been customized, um, so they look a little different. Now, when you're talking about home protection, you're talking about tight spots, you know what I mean? Being able to get inside a small area. What if you're pinned up in a hallway, you turn, you come out of the bathroom and you have a narrow hallway and somebody's there and you're, oh snap, right? You know what I mean? You're walking through, you got a fucking knife on a belt. Um, that's what I'm talking about. You, you, you want to make sure that the knife you're using can fit in tight spaces while this knife right here is beautiful in the hand. I mean, this is one of the, the best, um, the best spinning fighting um, knives that I have right here. This thing, the way it is, it's just a beast. Is it good for penetration? Absolutely. Is it good for slashing? Yes, because it has great length. Um, but that great length can hinder you when you are uptight and close and personal, or if the guy's got you and you were in a wrestle type thing, pulling something like this out where you need a full arm just to, just to, uh, just to retrieve it, that could hinder you. So when you're talking about a budget knife that is able to fight that you need, you know, like if this was, if you were out in the trail out of any of these knives, if you were out in the trail and you know, you had a bear attack, this is the one I would put in your hands right here. That is awesome for that, but maybe not so much for in the home because of your tight, um, your tight uh, surroundings, you know, your, your, your home is, is small. Same thing with this guy right here. This is the Bigfoot um, buoy, right? Another one where this one isn't as nice in the hand as that one is. It's still a big swinging arm lopping off, head lopping off blade where you can defend yourself against anybody with this thing. But again, now we're talking about tight confinement. Am I going to be able to get a full draw before somebody just puts a screwdriver in my neck. Maybe not. So if you're looking to defend yourself, stay away from these, you know, 75 inch blades. You don't need a sword in your house to defend yourself, right? So right away, I'm knocking down two blades and that leaves a whole bunch more. So let's, let's set them all up again. So now we, we have different styles of blade, obviously. Um, you have your Western style, your Old West style of buoys. Um, we got a few of those kicking around here, all different, even though they're all the same, right? You have your military style fighting knives. You have your classic um, Western style fighting knives. Um, and you have almost fantasy style fighting knives. 
it comes down to a couple things size ability to to um, ability to wield um, strength and uh, deployment right so with that I want to say something like this the mossy oak the mossy oak has two snaps on it to hold it in and it doesn't have any kind of friction so you need at least one to get it on there or to hold it on there so when you're talking about a mossy oak buoy and you're saying okay for home defense this is perfect length it's perfect size um this can get the job done as far as those parameters i've been i've been using that little bastard a little bit um but is uh if, if you're saying to defend yourself that's great but another thing you have to look at too is comfort and the ability to hold your blade this is bone bone is slick it's not going to be that great in the hand if you're trying to go fast it's going to be a little slick so we're going to take this mossy oak with the extra straps and the bone handle we're going to say no maybe that's not a great option so getting into the into the handle option or the handle talk this is chip away cutlery right this is a uh, a frost cutlery blade man i really need to clean these after i use them <laughs> this thing is all chunked up but um uh, when it comes down to being able to hold it this knife perfect it's got a great length to it great size it's got a nice belly this thing is made for hacking the problem is on something like this look at the the handle there is zero zero contouring it is just a big fat log i don't know what they were thinking when they did this horrible so when you're looking at them and you see this freaking i don't even know what it's called it's a chip away cutlery i don't know if it's like a big bear or something like that but when you see this configuration and you see these dots right here that means that's the end of your tang right there guarantee it this is not true full tang and for the last pin to be here and not here that tells me that that tang is right in there which is going to reduce the strength is it going to break on you i don't know i've been using it you can tell um hasn't broke yet so now we get that out of the way. So now let's get into another big one. And this one everybody knows. This is Timber Rattler. Man, I need to clean these up. Man, I need to clean these up. You know, people ask me if, if you know, I, I use my knives and whatnot. You see all the crud on there? That's because this knife is getting used. Um, but uh, clean all that off. So now you have a knife that is powerful, is wieldable but it's still a little on the long side as far as deployment. Getting it out, it's a single strap. Um, so how about this as a fighting knife? Yeah, the problem is, are you gonna walk around with this all day long in your house? This thing weighs like 34 pounds. So when I'm talking about the, um, the Timber Rattler, the, uh, or the TR-65, um, this thing, while very good, while this is something you can leave by a door, and do one of those or leave by a window, you see somebody coming through the window, that hand is gone. Any any of those big long ones, that's one thing you could do is leave by a door. But if you're talking about home protection to where you need to protect yourself at all times, that means something that can be left, something that can be carried, right? So I'm going to exclude this one. Now let's get into this one, the Texas Bowie. Obviously it didn't look like this originally. I did all the, um, the milling up here uh, it did have a brass guard up here it was typical but you see how thin this is and you know when we're talking about strength that's it plus this has a round handle so being it's a round handle you have less ability to grip the blade again by the window can you lop off somebody's arms real quick absolutely absolutely that's a uh, that's a good good home defense knife if it's not something that's going to be your number one it just doesn't have enough security in the hand doesn't have enough security in the tang and it's not something i don't know just not comfortable all right so let's break it down let's break it down some more we got another timber rattler all right the tr87 the tr87 um just like the other timber rattler it's a workhorse this thing will beat it's sharp um, it's long, it's strong, it's not so bad. Um, it's got a single strap, easy to deploy. If you wanted to nix the snap, 
and just carry plain, it's enough to where you'd really have to be doing some upside down jumping jacks before this thing fell out on its own. Um, this is a good home protection buoy, right? So we're gonna put this first one, first one in the positive pile, all right? Okay, so now we're gonna get onto this United Cutlery Hanshu um, thing. So this is as much as I don't like these Hanshu type blades, and it's not the fact that the blade is bad because the steel, the steel hasn't had any imperfections on me. Um, so far it's been doing good. It just feels cheap. It just feels cheap to me. But when we're talking about home defense, when we're talking about, uh-oh, better get Mako, then um, this guy right here, I don't know. Whew, fast. It's got a sweet belly in it. It's got a great recurve. And, you know, as, as much as I hate the feel of this handle, um, I have to say that this one, and I believe this might be on the higher end toward the $50. I'm not sure. Maybe in the 40 range. Um, this one is definitely a budget piece that you can really consider for your uh, home protection piece. Now we're gonna get into a classic. Whew, this is the whitetail cutlery. This one's the Civil War buoy. Um, it's just another one where you would have this great design, this great blade shape, everything about it, but then you have your bone handle, and you can see it's like a, it, almost like a coffin shape, but it's almost straight across, which means a hard enough swing, and that thing go shooting out of your hands. And now you have not protected anyone. So really, really think about um, your handles and what you're going to have as a grip when you're talking about things like that. Um, I have a couple knives that I was going to bring out, but eh. you have this United Cutlery Gladius thing. It's just too light to make. I mean, a great stabber, but as far as an all-around fighter, I wouldn't consider this knife for anybody for anything unless looks that's about it and then you have this guy this is another timber wolf it was made to um, look like the 1917 frontier buoy by cold steel only much smaller but this thing is no comparison um, is it going to be able to help you in the house any any kind of sharpened spoon will help you um, it's a little light in the front so you're not going to generate that power that you might need for home defense so i kicked this one right out of the bucket also, I had the Gerber LMF, which I would have taken this in a heartbeat as my choice. But um, this is what I used in Afghanistan. This thing is fantastic. But it's they have different um, different models and price ranges, and it might be just out of that budget um, price range. But if you're looking to go budget and maybe you find one and it's around there, um, that is a great possibility right there so back on track let's get into the elk ridge um the model number is er 438 so um this guy right here i like using this one i like using this one i believe i got this from cowboy Seabop. and uh this thing right here is a worker it is a worker now when i'm talking about home defense it has this slick wooden handle which isn't going to give you a ton of grip but it makes up for it with these finger grooves. And because it is true full tang, you're gonna have it all the way through. And it just feels good. You have a big fat belly. The knife gets around. It's got a good weight to it. It stays sharp. This one right here, and with the size, it has a single strap. Um, you're gonna have an easy time, an easy time deploying. Uh, it's gonna sit on the belt well. That's gonna go in our yes pile. This is one that I think everybody should have right here. This is the one that I think everybody should have. When you're talking budget, and I mean cheap budget, this is called the G4 Survivor, right? This blade right here, it's hollow ground. I think it's 420HC, um, I do believe. And this thing has been a beast. And I paid nothing, next to nothing for this. Big, fat, thick steel. Um, I, I got it and I didn't have a sheath for it. So 
somebody was very nice enough to send me a nice leather sheath and it happens to fit perfect so um but it does come with if you buy it with the sheath it's going to come with like a uh, a combat style sheath you know something with attachments and all that um but the g4 survivor without a doubt goes into the defend yourself pile wow that's a good one all right so i got just a couple more and then we're going to break them down we're going to take out the best this is the um carbon buoy from cisco one of my all-time favorite knives it's a 20 dollar knife um this one i personally customized for me um you can see i did new handle scales i ripped off the ones that were on there i put these on there i carved them up i re um, finished the blade i refinished the handguard i took this thing completely apart i added new pins um better pins um everything in there used to be three three small pins i gave it two bigger aluminum pins um this knife right here is probably one of my favorite fighting knives budget big time anything this one right here is a beast and if you get one that's unchanged you know stock form it's still gonna be a beast the good thing is it's crazy easy to customize one of these knives um i freaking love it the good thing is i have a no strap deployment um sheath makes it easy it stays in there it's good all right one more cisco i'm gonna show you is the bayonet so now this one has got the grip that you need it's got the size that you need it's got the blade style that you need it's got the blade shape that you need um this one is is pretty hard to beat and in the saw works you can see i got a bunch of stuff in there um man this thing this thing works it works well it works hard um i love it one thing you're gonna have is a sheath with multiple docking points which i'm not a fan of um but you do have an ambidextrous seat which is very very good um this one is great one thing i will tell you about this one and why it's not going to be my number one um is because your lug attachments right here so right here is where you attach to the lug on an m4 right Boop. um and those after a while if you're using it and it's going low in your hand those can be pretty nasty in the hand this is made for a short time real quick usage it's not made to be holding in the hand for three days and swinging and turning and burning and all that you're going to end up chewing up your hand back here and because of that it's the only reason this one is not in there because this is an awesome awesome knife all right last one and i told you about the edge of um budget like you have zero dollars to thirty dollars right there there's your there's your sweet budget range when you're talking about a budget blade you know not zero obviously but looking at fifteen dollars to thirty dollars is where you're going to get a budget blade that is going to beast i mean beast but if you're looking to go all the way to the edge and you go to 49.99 somewhere in there and they're out there for 49.99 you can find one um the Gil Hibben Highlander. Now you're thinking, but it's got a, a metal handle, so how is that going to be for grip? Well, it's braided steel cord, right? But then you have this guy just holding you in. You want to talk about a fighting knife? You want to talk about home defense? You want to talk about a sexy? Um, this one has it all. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to break down a couple of them by price and by choice what i would say would be the best to have for your home protection my top three and i'm going to show you them real quick because i already pretty much have them all out and so when you're talking about um budget buoys um for home protection especially during these times well 
here's the three that I would I would pull out and all three are gonna be different for you this guy right here is true buoy all the way true buoy the Cisco high carbon buoy is just an amazing amazing all-around buoy fighting knife um, that thing you can find 20 even sometimes sub 20 bucks the G4 um, you can find this for you know between 20 and 30 bucks um, this one right here is an awesome fighting knife uh, I know this is supposed to be like a buoy thing can I consider this a buoy and eh, maybe not but it's still a uh, a great budget fighting knife and then at the top of the um, at the top of the money um, as far as budget uh, you have this one right here which in the hand is remarkable so if I had to say to you guys all right so listen you have a budget you need one blade you need to defend your home you need to live forever without anything well you might ha not have the 50 bucks if you did this is exactly the knife I would tell you to keep as a fighting knife this knife right here and people could say oh those are wall hangers and blah 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 y'all seen the video I did on this wall hangers don't chop down trees all right this one does um, but when you're talking about a fighting knife and that's what this is skin versus this is no contest I mean not even close this guy right here in my opinion is one of the best fighting knives you're gonna put in your hand I freaking love the Gil Hibben Highlander all right so that's it so that's it that one's gone so now we have two blades that you can put in your hand and you can use to defend your home now the blade lengths are pretty much equal the the entire knife is pretty much equal in length um, now when you're talking about okay well which one's gonna be the better fighter which one am I gonna be able to get around which one am I gonna be able to swing with more power with um, the power really in both of these even though you'd think that because this one has a bigger belly it's really thick really wide the power is automatic it's just right there but when you're talking about something this thick right and you can see the difference right you can see the difference it generates a lot of swing coming through okay so here's the thing with these two this one is very easy to fit to your own hand if you got yourself a $20 buoy and you know a five cent piece of sandpaper you can do finger grooves you can thin it out a little bit if you want you can contour it more if you want because it has not these it has wooden handles it has wooden scales right the brass handguard um, it comes with an S guard so you have a lot to protect your hand with if that intruder happens to have a knife himself you protect your hand the handguard on this one is just enough to keep you from slipping onto the blade not enough to defend yourself against an attacker or this one i made it that way because you're not getting to me anyway i'm gonna take you out so um that's that's one of the things there um deployment for deployment uh this one because it has a custom sheath i can only say that for me they're both the same because they both pull right out um and it doesn't mean if you have a long knife you don't need a clip or a uh, anything a snap you can just cut it off um, and it's gonna it's gonna be fine but if I had to say which one out of these two when you're talking of budget knives uh, I know that this one right here is available 24 7 365 on almost any budget knife channel off any like eBay Amazon type thing this one right here you can get anytime anywhere for the same price you're gonna find it anytime anywhere the g4 the reason you're going ooh, the g4 that one sounds kind of cool I like that I haven't seen that one yet because you haven't seen it yet this one you've seen I guarantee you've seen a Cisco buoy I guarantee freaking tee it this one might be slightly harder to find it might be up to ten dollars more expensive so if I'm gonna say what's the ultimate budget knife for home defense between length between girth between wieldability between 
uh, the ability to, to remove it from a sheath fast, the ability to make it fit your hand. I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, that the Cisco High Carbon Buoy might be your best chance to get you, for 20 bucks, a knife in your hand that you can defend at any door. You want one for the front door, one for the back door, you can get you can get two of them. 40 bucks later, now you have two blades protecting your whole house. I'm telling you guys, this one right here is a serious, serious home defense blade. It is made to defend yourself in the wilderness against bears and big cats, just in case you get attacked. It doesn't say you're going to win, but it's made to defend yourself against them. And if you can defend yourself against a bear with this thing, you can defend yourself with a guy named Earl. You know what I mean? It's just the way it is. So, here's my budget buoy uh, home defense knife video. Uh, my very next video is going to be... You know, we had some crappy weather, so I needed to get this one out of the way. So within the next couple days, we're having a ton of sunshine coming. I'm bringing you the Cold Steel um, Drop Forged buoy. So get rid of that one. That's my very next video. Um, until then, guys, if you're looking to, ch to um, spend cheap money and you want a good blade, this is the one right here. All right. I'm Johnny B. All day. Until next knife.